Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you guys how I started my YouTube channel and stay tuned towards the end I will be announcing my giveaway. So here we go. It all started back in 2012 when I was a freshman in high school. I was starting to get obsessed over anime like SAO, Attack on Titan, Clan Ed, School Rumble, Foods Basket, Death Note, and many others. I was really in love with the school uniform of Nagisa from Clan Ed and wanted to buy it online. But it cost around 120 and I didn't really have the money for it. Later on, I just decided to buy a uniform from eBay and it was just $40 and it still hangs in my closet till this day. Once I found it and got it, I wanted to start working on makeup for my uniform, and that's when I wanted to look up makeup tutorials on YouTube. I found this YouTuber that I still can't pronounce her name, and I fell in love with her videos, and I learned how to do makeup from her. Since now I was exposed to YouTube, I found DIYers and beauty gurus, vloggers, gamer videos, and since K-pop music videos are on YouTube, my sister exposed me to Mr. Simple by Super Junior, and I fell in love with K-pop and watched music videos all day. I wanted to start my YouTube channel once I became a sophomore and become a beauty guru and DIYer. But because of lack of confidence and no equipment or software to start, I didn't start it. Not until the end of junior year, where I was starting to write my ideas and decided that I didn't want to be a beauty guru or a DIYer like all the millions of girls out there. I wanted to do videos that I love to do, so I, th I thought why not do a K-pop channel doing DIYs, reactions, and dance covers. Since I haven't seen that many videos about K-pop DIYs or any official K-pop DIY channel, I was like, well let's do it. So after I knew for sure what I wanted to do, I got a computer with a software, borrowed my brother's camera, and got started. But first I needed a name, something that represents me. So I thought of multiple names and finally came up with one based on my experience with BTS Highlight Tour here in San Francisco. So it was September and I was on my way to the Highlight Tour to go see BTS and get a high touch. I still remember doing an, my AP government homework in the car. My sister and my cousin and Sammy and I picked up my friends Brenda and Brenda's friend who I still don't remember her name, I'm so sorry. Um, headed off to the event. We stayed in line for a very long time and finally led us into see BTS for like a mini concert. And at this time, my bias was Jungkook, so when I looked at him, he looked so buff and tall. Like, what? <laughs> then it was time for the high touch, and Giselle was right behind me, so I was first to give them a high touch. In this line, I thought we would be sent to another room to get a high touch from BTS, but once I got out of the arena, all I see is Rap Monster right in front of me, and I had to tilt my head up since he was so tall and he made eye contact with me. He is very tall in person, actually all of them are. I'm actually 5 foot, so I was pretty small compared to them, and then one of the security guards said I had to go and touch them now. And all I remember is seeing 7 gorgeous hands right in front of me in a row. So first was Rap Monster, J-Hope, Taehyun, Suga, Jimin, Jungkook, and last one was Jin. As I've been told since all I did was slide my hand with theirs and, and not properly high five them or looked at them since I was so nervous and very small. It was quite embarrassing. And I gotta say, they have very manly hands and they were very soft. Not until I reached the last member, Jin. Jin noticed that I wasn't high fiving all the members correctly, just sliding my hands across theirs. So once I got the last member, Jin, this is where my life has changed. He got down to my level and looked at me in the eyes and high fived me. Not me to him, but he high-fived to me. That's when I knew he was my bias. Afterwards, I blushed so hard and booked it outside with my sister. That is something I will never forget and will treasure it for the rest of my life. So back to when I was forming my name and deciding my name, my sister said, why not a Jin name? So we came up with Pretty Princess Jin, but someone already took it. And we finally decided on Pretty Prince Jin, since he is a very pretty prince. So I got my name, camera, and ideas and started to do my YouTube channel. That's when I wanted to start 
and I finally got to do it after two to three years. After my first video, I thought I wouldn't do so well, but I have now on my first video, now I have 18,000 views, 922 likes, and 57 comments saying that you all love my videos and my channel. And since then, I have made even more videos with even more positive feedback from you guys. I even got 1,000 subscribers in just 28 days. That is still mind blowing to me. All I wanted to say to you guys is just thank you so so much for all your wonderful positive feedback that makes me do more videos for you guys. You guys really make me happy and will keep on giving you more DIY videos and other great videos to come. And because of this, I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys. 